Interstellar tells the story of Cooper. He's an ex-pilot from NASA. But in this future, NASA has been gone for years. And to make matters worse, they're running out of food. Those who survived are all farmers, waiting for the day that the food will grow no more. And it's coming soon. There's this weird anomaly happening in Cooper's house. He believes to be gravity, but his daughter Mirth believes to be a ghost. In the end, both are right. There's a ghost from the future manipulating gravity. This ghost is Cooper himself. From the future inside of a black hole, Cooper from the future sends them a coordinate to a secret NASA facility. He does that to keep the paradox that lead him to the black hole going. So present Cooper and Murph head to NASA. There they learn of the existence of fifth dimensional beings. Those beings created a wormhole next to Saturn. This wormhole connects them to sustainable life. Don't worry, you'll understand what's a fifth dimensional being by the end of the video. But first you need to understand what's a wormhole. Imagine a 2D world. An ant on a newspaper. Her whole world is the paper, nothing else. If we bend the paper, she'll be able to go from one point to another. As if she crossed a magic tunnel. Well, she just crossed a wormhole. In this scenario, a three-dimensional being is bending a two-dimensional world. In Interstellar, a fifth-dimensional being is bending a three-dimensional world. So Cooper embarks on this great adventure to save Earth, leaving Murph behind. They cross the wormhole and arrive on this weird planet, very close to a black hole. The planet couldn't really sustain life and they lose 23 years on the short trip. You see, when a planet is close to a black hole, gravity makes time go faster. Hours on this planet became years on Earth, which it turns out to be very painful. After that, they headed to Man's planet. They were told that life could be sustained over there, but they were all lies from Man. The planet was cold and empty. There they discovered that Brand also lied. There was never a mission to save people on Earth. The goal was to start a colony on a new planet. Like Man said, all hope was lost, and there was not much to do. But Remley, who's been studying black holes for years, while waiting for the crew to come back, he told Cooper that the only way to save people on Earth is if somehow they could get inside of a black hole and get the quantum data. That will allow Murph to finish the equation that Brand couldn't and create a big interstellar spaceship. So Cooper goes inside of a black hole. Inside of a black hole, Cooper finds himself in this unusual place where he is able to push the walls and by doing that he is able to manipulate gravity through time. He's inside of a 3D space created by a 5D being. Inside the space he can see the fourth dimension of Murph's room. He can see the past, the present and the future of that room and interact with it by pushing the walls. At this point, he's years in the future. Because inside of a black hole, time goes slower. So the only way for him to talk to Murph is if he talks to the past. And he can do that now. 
he understands that he can manipulate gravity in the past. So he can talk to Murph in the past through Morse code by pushing the walls. So he gets the data and sends it to Murph through Morse code. And he can do that because he's inside of a 3D space created by a 5D being for this very purpose, for Cooper and Murph to save humanity. So he gets the data and sends it to Murph in the past. And by doing that, he saves everyone on Earth. To understand what 5D beings are, I have to take you to a 2D world again. But first, let's recap. First dimension is a line. Second dimension is a square. The third dimension is a cube. We live in a 3D universe. The fourth dimension is time, which is a property of our universe. Fifth dimensional being will live outside our universe, in a place where time doesn't exist. He'd probably be able to see time itself. The beginning, middle and end of the universe all together. To understand the end of Interstellar, you have to imagine a 2D world. Let's imagine two worlds. The yellow and the white paper. The white paper it's a brand new world, and the yellow paper it's a really old one. The yellow one is dying. It's not gonna be able to sustain life much longer. Just like Earth or Interstellar. These two stick figures, they live on this yellow world. And through observation they understand that the world is dying. So they wanna leave, but they can't because there's a wall blocking the way. So they can see the new white world through the hole, but they can't get there. Because they don't have the tools to break the wall. Just like humans could see other galaxies, but they couldn't get there. Because they don't have the technology to travel to faraway planets that can sustain life. When they look to the other side, they see emptiness. They can't quite understand what happens, but they know something weird happens. They also can't get there, because the bench is blocking the way. Now let's imagine that humans found this 2D world, and they've been observing for a while. And they also understand that the yellow world is about to end. So the humans that were observing them, three-dimensional beings, want to help the stick figures, two-dimensional beings. So they put a stair here. This will be the equivalent of the wormhole. And it would also appear out of nowhere to them. And on the emptiness, they put a paper with a pickaxe for them to break the wall. So the stick figures would go inside this 2D space created by a human, 3D beings. Get the pickaxe, break the wall, and go to the new white paper world and save their species. Just like Cooper went to this 3D space created by 5D beings that allowed him to manipulate the fourth dimension. The ability to manipulate the fourth dimension would be the pickaxe. There he got the data for interstellar travel. And he was able to send it to Murph in the past through gravity. And also save his species. It's impossible for us to understand how a 5D being would look like. It would be like the stick figure, trying to understand how a human looked like. But who are these fifth dimensional beings? It is us, humans in the future. Civilization that evolved past the fourth dimension that we know. That probably happened billions of years in the future. But as soon as humans became 5D beings, it created a paradox. Humans from the future saved themselves in the past. As they became 5D beings, they were able to create a wormhole and a 3D space inside of a black hole in the past and guide Cooper and Murph to save Earth.